Hello, welcome back to another Unreal Engine tutorial. Today I'll be showing you the improvements that I made on the Doom Eternal dashing system that were requested by, of uh, all things, I Islam? Like, yeah, uh, didn't know Islam was in my comment sections watching my videos. Uh, so, big shout out to Islam, I guess. A bit odd, not what I would expect, but it is what it is. So, the first major improvement that I really think the system actually needed is being able to dash upstairs. So now we're able to dash upstairs like this. I'll explain what this madness is later. Don't worry about that. So this is uh, now we're able to dash upstairs like so. Second arguable improvement, all that's on Doom Eternal, is being able to dash diagonally. So when I hold uh, A and W here, for example, I dash diagonally like so. So let me hold um, A and S and dash like so. But then if I just hold uh, W, dash like so. Okay. So, and th third improvements that wasn't requested by the system does need is uh, how it registers when you hit stuff. So I'm going to go in slow motion now by pressing control. Um, I put that in. Um, when I dash like this, I can dash again immediately because you see I hit that wall there. And we have this little collision box uh, and it's this man is here before. I don't know why it hasn't gone away yet. And the reason why you're going to want that is because you, you see our hitbox here. We're already by default colliding with this uh, plane here. So when we're dashing, we don't want it to just stop when this box hits it. Uh, so uh, instead, we just make our own little custom collision box. So that way we can still dash upstairs just fine and dandy. But if we hit a wall... Then we can just dash again. Oh, and uh, one last improvement uh, I'll be showing you later whilst I'm going over the system is that, yes, uh, I have made a system of just being able to reset dashes. So, once again, let's see how that was done, shall we? So, this is our event tick. Uh, it's a bit of a mess. I haven't really cleaned up. Uh, this is the Dashing Magic 2 Electric Boogaloo. The first one is here. I just have the original one here. So I'm going to assume that you watched the uh, first video. So I won't be going over most of this stuff. So I'm, uh, yeah. So let me show you the first improvement on how we have changed up our dashing. So rather than uh, ha making these line traces like we did last time, so and having this timeline here, instead it's going to be much simpler, and we're just going to add, we're just going to add this, uh, we're just going to use a launch character. So let's go over the logic here. So when we press our, uh, so when we hit our dashing button, uh, it's going to check the, our number of dashes, if our dashing is greater than, uh, uh, then our uh, uh, yeah, if our, our dashing is greater than uh, zero, then it, it's gonna check if you're currently not dashing. This can dash will come in later with resetting our dash. We're just gonna remove this for now. Uh, and then the stop grapple. This is for if you have like a grappling hook. Uh, you so if you're like in, or grappling, then you're just gonna want to stop grappling. Uh, so that way it doesn't um, mess it up. So now this time around, what we're doing. Uh, uh, whilst you're checking if our player is moving, uh, I explained this last time around, so you can just check that. Uh, there will always be timestamps in the descriptions below, so you don't have to just scout the entire video and watch the whole thing and waste your time. So you can just uh, hopefully be able to see what those are. And if I, if those aren't in the description uh, of the first one, then I will, uh, in this video's description, I'll say, oh yeah, I'll ex I explain what these are at that time of that video. Sorry if it's a bit confusing. Okay, so what we do here is instead of last time where we uh, use, uh, promoted these like these line trace properties and uh, this shit, what we're gonna do instead is much simpler and we're just going to promote these to uh, a vector uh, variable that I just call dashing vector. So what we do for when we want to dash forwards or backwards is we say uh, get actor for a vector multiply that by get move forward vector. And it's going to be, uh, for dashing left or right, it's just going to be get actual right vector, get move right, multiply this, get dashing vector. Get dashing vector. But uh, for being able to dash diagonally, on the other hand, so this is our diagonal dash, it should probably, yeah, let's just say, diagonal dashing. All right. Yeah, it's, it's a bit messy, I know. I didn't really bother to clean this up as soon as I like got everything work. I'm like, yes, I gotta make a tutorial. So I'm sorry about that. Uh, so the way 
we're going to be able to check our dashing vector is so after we check our if our player is moving or not and we're checking uh dashing forward or backwards we're going to make another check so uh we're going to make a check of get move uh, right so if that equals to zero that means you're impressing a uh, a or d so it's going to do a dash forward or backwards but if that is false that means we're either pressing a uh, negative one or uh uh fucking positive one then uh then uh we're gonna go here and then we're gonna make another check if get move forward is negative uh, zero if it is equal to zero or not so because if it's equal to zero then that means we're not pressing w or s so we're just gonna go there and get a uh, dash left and right like so but if that is the case then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna uh make our a diagonal dashing vector so if it is equal to one or negative one then we're just going to get both the values of our move forward and uh, multiply that with our uh, uh actual forward vector and then actual right vector uh with our move right and we're just going to add both of them together and that will give us our dashing vector and then we're just going to check if we are okay we don't need what the fuck why is it that far away and so it's going to check if you're dashing or not uh which i mean might be a bit redundant actually i think yeah i'm pretty sure it is but you know we're just we'll just go with it uh so yeah it's just gonna check if you're um dashing or not and then we're just gonna uh subtract by one our current number of dashes remaining and then we're just gonna set dashing to true so when we set dashing to true we have made this event called uh i called it proto dash i was gonna rename it later but again i was like as soon as i got work i'm like yes i gotta do this so we'll just go with it so we put this in our events tick uh and we have this event so what as soon as our dashing is true what we'll do is we'll uh, multiply our dashing vector with our dashing distance so you should uh it's just a dashing distance is just a float we made uh last time where uh where uh, we fucking, uh, where we just specify how much we want to dash, so that way we can just uh, change it instead of typing it there. So I mean, we're gonna multiply that by our dashing vector, and we're just gonna launch our character. Make sure to overwrite these, and then once we do that, then uh, this is gonna go on for three uh, zero point three seconds. Or this is so basically how long you want your dash to last. Actually, you know what we can do is we could just say, uh, like dash time length so dash time length and i believe i misspelled it, but you know it was roll with it and i believe yeah 0 0.3 or right, it does by default nice so once uh, after our we dash for 0 0.3 seconds that are we like launch our character 0 0.3 seconds then we're just gonna set dashing to false and then we're gonna set uh, should halt character uh, this this is just for debugging purposes um, uh, this was for a uh, while I was debugging, making sure everything was working right. So this is completely fucking useless for us. I am going to click compile, uh, and then just uh, yeah, we're gonna have that should halt character. Uh, we're gonna set that to true, and should halt character is going to set another event that we have uh, in our event tick, which is just halt character. So if a halt character is true, then uh, it's gonna say. Okay, we're gonna stop moving immediately and then just should hog character uh, to false. So you might be like, oh, okay, well, we don't need that there. We can just do this, right? So as soon as we set that like so, like so. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't work like this. I don't know why. So when we dash in the air, you see, we just go like that. Uh, only, I have no clue why. Like, honestly, uh, even though I'm, like, supposed to be the tutorial guy that knows what's up, I have no clue what the fuck with that, why that doesn't work. And then, now we have this. You see? We uh, stop when we're supposed to. I don't know why. If you do, please comment. Dude, like, I mean, look at this. We're ganging up on poor old event tech here. Like, Yandere Dev would be proud of us right now. Levels are bad. So, yeah. This is, uh, these are major improvements. So, this is for... Uh, this here is for diagonal dashing. This here, uh, fuck. This here is for uh, yeah, uh, our new dash. I call proto dash, even though it doesn't need to be called that. And uh, halt character. Uh, but there are a few more things to go over. So I made this custom event called stop dashing. So uh, when we uh, stop dashing, I, we don't directly call that uh, stop dashing for 
uh, when we just fucking uh, when as soon as our dash ends. This is for when we hit an object. So stop dashing. We only call when uh, uh, we hit an object. So if you if you go back here, I don't know why I haven't dragged this yet. So if we're just gonna go here. Uh, this is for our. Okay, yeah, here. So I, we have this. If, on components hit capsule component we have it so that if we are currently dashing then we just call a uh, stop dashing so uh, what this will uh, what we're gonna do here is you can set a sphere trace by channel uh, that will cover upper characters upper body I mean I haven't really played with the values uh, it might not work perfectly so this is for like when you hit a wall and then you're like, okay, I hit something, I'm going to dash again immediately. I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm still dashing. Because if we don't have this... Yeah, okay, go ahead, save now. Uh, so if we don't have this, you'll see what I mean. Uh, so we're just going to go back... Okay, click on pile, I guess. And we're just going to go back. Uh, there we are. So I'm just going to... Uh, hold on. Okay, there we are. So I'm just going to hit a slow-mo again. Now I'm going to dash into the wall. You see? It's like... Uh, it took me a while to... Uh, be able to just uh, stop dashing immediately so when i dash to this wall here you see it's still moving me but i'm like no fuck fuck i don't want to fucking do that we want to just stop dashing so we're just going to put that there so what uh, our stop dashing will do is it will create the sphere trace by channel and if uh, we get a hit then it's going to set our dashing to false and then we're just going to want it to halt our character now, uh, for the auto dash check, so like when you're holding it, this is what seems to be working. If like, I, I don't know why, again, uh, this is just like from tweaking values. I don't exactly know why some of this stuff works, if I'm being honest. So we're just gonna have to roll with it. So uh, again, it's the same logic as last time, get input key time down, dash and key. Remember we said uh, dash and key here. Um, but yeah, uh, and once you're like, uh, once it's being, uh, once we check that it's being held down for 0 0.2 seconds, then we're just going to give an another 0 0.2 a, a second delay. And then if at that time it's also being uh, put down, then we're just going to set dash. So you might think, oh, that, that might feel unresponsive, but uh, surprisingly, no. It seems to be working fine. Uh, let's wait again. Slow motion. I press shift instantly. It works instantly. So uh this is what uh it works i mean i guess that's all i can say really for some most of the stuff is that it just works my uh, play testing uh, now for our final part uh, that was recommended uh, is to set delays so uh for our delays we are gonna have a variable called can dash and what this will do is when we're dashing no, by its default value should be true so can dash by default is going to be true. So what we're going to do whilst we're dashing then is we're going to set can dash to false. But after two delay, uh, two second delay, then we're just going to set can dash back to true. So what this will then do, uh, what we're going to want to do then is instead of this hunk, of, uh, this hunk of junk, we're just going to drag that here and then set, put our can dash here. So true. And now we're just going to want to check if we can currently dash. So we're just going to print it. So I hit the shift. I can't dash. But it's true again. I can't dash. So that this way we have delays per dash. Uh, and yeah, that's basically it. So I know this is a bit short. This is way too rambly. And most of the stuff is just not going to make sense if you haven't seen the... Uh, first video I'm, I'm mainly making uh this for like the one dude that just like commented down below and he's like hey how can i do that which up uh, here you go dude i hope this helps you out in some way uh and i mean it really is nice knowing that like th this helps like at least one person on this planet so i hope that did the trick for you uh and yeah this is going to be it for this video if you have any more questions or like recommendations or improvements and whatnot, then uh, let me know, I guess. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna dip. See ya. Bye.